Welcome to another edition of Wall Street Sizing Up. We're glad you're here. My name is Mark. Understand that we are now owned and operated by StockTrade.Tips. That's StockTrade.Tips, where their only goal in life is to help you profit off the insider knowledge of the hedge fund, and they do it through SMS and text messages. Today is stocks to watch. Today is stocks to trade. Today is the stocks that you need to know about that the hedge funds are trading for the Monday morning opening bell. I'm going to start off first. There is no staff here. It is Saturday, January 2nd. So happy new year. Happy new year to all the Bitcoiners out there. I saw it today, 31.3, I think, as I saw the high. And it looks like if you've got trading view, it could possibly go to 32.3. So um, congratulations. Bitcoin has gone nuts. I believe it's, um, well, it's the best performing asset over the past 10 years and the best performing asset this year as well, especially since it was down to close to four grand on in March of 2020. <laughs> <laughs> and here and here we are nine months later it's at 31 anyway that being said that's great let's get to it now again this is going to be quick guys i'm going to run through these filings quick and just kind of what we see i'm not going to give you the ones that we gave the premium sms subscribers but i am going to give you some ones that we thought were pretty good and still have some uh upside left so here we go you'll see on the screen there that is tpco that's tribune Publishing Company, Tribune Publishing Company. They were sized upon by Alden Global Capital. And this is a very interesting story. They only sized up 10,000 shares on, on uh, December 14th, but they own uh, 11, 000, or sorry, 11 million shares, almost 12 million shares, really. So they've got quite the position, 120, 130 million. You can see the stair step up here. Let me tell you what that is. They offered, I believe that was on, yeah, on the 30th, they offered fourteen twenty-five a share to buy the entire company. Fourteen twenty-five. So, if the board meets and they take it, you still got some upside. I think the board will not take it. And let me tell you why. One, you get a price target on here of sixteen fifty on our industrial, simply Wall Street, our industrial tool that we use. Look at the fair value here, ninety-nine dollars. So we believe that they will come back and they will absolutely increase this price so it's a, it's a good short-term play probably a good mid-term play and maybe even a good long-term play as well so pretty interesting there all right next up is xnet xnet is zuni limited x n e t is the ticker you can see there it's just been trading sideways and this is this is what we can't understand about this one because xnet was sized up on by morgan stanley now morgan stanley is uh, I would say they size up often, but we do see them on the channel um, ever now and again. And typically, their TA is like they don't it doesn't they don't get pumps per se, but they get very good increases by by the time that the 13G comes out on Xnet. Here, I, there's not a lot of Wall Street institutions that own Xnet. Uh, Xnet's a China digital media company you can see there it does have a price target on yahoo of 12 bucks but here's the thing not a lot of big guys in this morgan stanley's only up three percent since they got in on the 21st december 21st they got in listen to this almost 17 million shares right so about a 50 million dollar position is what they've got here and they've only got a three percent they typically get i would tell you 10 to 15 percent where they get in in and out that's a different story but they have been in the stock for a very long time uh so they sized up with 13.8 million new shares that's uh and to only get a three percent up is a little bit strange for me especially when they're coming from 2.8 million shares so that is xnet next up is xfor so, so xfor is uh let me get to them real quick x xfor is a biotech it's called X4 Pharmaceuticals. X4 Pharmaceuticals. They were sized up on by, now we see these guys pretty often, a carrying capital. A carrying capital sized up uh, 100,000 new shares. They own about 800,000 shares, right? So they're looking at about uh, a $7 million position here. Uh, plenty of cash to burn. They've got about 15 months of cash at, their burn, at the burn right now. It looks like a falling knife. 
The thing about this one is it's all about the price targets, right? So uh, if you on Yahoo here, it's eight, you know, it's trading at 643, got a price target at 1875. Yahoo's, you know, you know, as far as price targets goes, they're reliable, but that's about it. Um, but when you go to Biofarm Catalyst, our, our really good tool that we have, look at the biotech analyst ratings, 21 and 20. So we like this stock a lot. They are, they're biotech, they are, they're fighting immune diseases. And uh, it looks like a 100% buy. Uh, a carrying has only got a 7% pump. That's typically where, that's kind of like marginal to where they could take some, profits but uh with it only being you know a, a you know a 10 7 8 million dollar position i would think that they were probably in this for the long term that's x f o r next up is l y r a lira therapeutics you'll see here lira 1140s trade net price target on yahoo is 26 we like this in the short term uh, it does have low volume. The price targets, uh, again, you see 26 on uh, Yahoo, on uh, Lyra Therapeutics. Typically, uh, again, this is a carrying capital. Again, they've sized up with about 800,000 shares, right? So uh, they're in this for about 10 minutes as well. They sized up on the 15th. Uh, since then, they've got a 14% pump. So they could have traded in and out of this. Um, but but of if you look at the holders, they've got 80% of their stock is held by Wall Street institutions. So we like that. We also like on Biofarm Catalyst, which we looked at. It looks like it's been a falling knife, and then all of a sudden it, it's got this this latest pump in the past 14 days. It says on Biofarm that on December 7th. Their primary drug right now, which is called Lantern, did not meet primary endpoints. On other news sites, though, it's been reported that it actually did perform. And so that's why I think that you're seeing the stock go back up a little bit here. So this is a very, very interesting play. Again, that they've got plenty of cash if they want to pivot as well. They've got 62 months of runway there. So we like them. We do. Next up is OAC. Now, OAC is, let me just tell you off the top, it's a SPAC. Uh, it's a record year for SPACs, record raise for SPACs. This one has already uh, uh, has already designated its uh, target, and that is going to be HIMS. So I like this in the short term, I like it in the midterm, and the long term. So if you don't know what HIMS is, right, HIMS is a... Viagra supplier by mail for men, the generic, right? So Viagra about two or three years ago went generic. And so that's basically what they do. Now, here's the thing. Steve Cohen at 0.72 sized up, right? He bought 1.1 million shares, about a $15 million position. Not a huge position for him, but here's the thing. He's only gone up 1%. So he is looking long-term at this. 0.72, which many regard as a top five hedge fund is only got a 1% return. So that's not going to be good enough. So they're in this for the long term. Um, you know, I could, there's no price targets clearly, but, uh, but it is widely known. This, this will probably rise. So this is, this is a good short term, midterm, and maybe even a long term as well. All right. With that being said, those are one, two, three, four, and five that filings that we liked that came in. Here are three more that uh, CGRO, that's CGRO, that's a cannabis stock. They IPO'd in 2019. They're out of Austin. You might look at them, that's CGRO. ONCS, ONCS is also a biotech. You might look at them as well. And finally, RETA is a biotech as well, RETA. There's a 100% buy on that one. So you really might look at that one. Again, that's R-E-T-A. So with that said, guys, we really appreciate you watching the stocks to watch. The stocks for the Monday morning opening bell, what the hedge funds are trading. So with that, watch your six. Go hard in the paint. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Cheers.